GAPS diet and GAPS concept has been around for more than 20 years now. I can't believe how time flies. And it has become a global phenomenon. It stands for gut and psychology syndrome and gut and physiology syndrome. Both abbreviate to the same GAPS in the English language. And what we're talking about here, we're talking about a person who has abnormal microbial community living in their body. Many people now understand, and the modern science is very busy explaining this now, now to everybody, that your body is a microbial community. There are more microbes in you than there are human cells. And these microbes live everywhere. You've got microbes in your blood, in your heart, in your lungs, in your brain, in your joints, in your muscles, in your bones, everywhere. But the biggest community of microbes lives in your digestive system. And it is a highly organized microbial community, highly balanced and harmonious. Every microbe is present in there. There's fungi there, bacteria, viruses, protozoa, archaea, all kinds of little creatures. They all should be there because they all fulfill certain functions for us and they control each other. They don't allow each other to get out of control because any microbe in the world can cause trouble in your body. And the only way to live with microbes on this beautiful planet of ours, and the planet does belong to microbes. It doesn't belong to us. <laughs> it belongs to the microbes. And uh, the only way to live in peace with them is harmony, balance. Problem is human beings are very good at creating disharmony, imbalance in nature. Every time you take antibiotics, you kill off a bunch of microbes. No antibiotic can kill everything. It only kills a narrow spectrum of particular microbes in your body, starting in your digestive system and then everywhere else in your body. And the balance is gone. These microbes used to control a whole spectrum of other microbes. And suddenly all those other microbes that are left are out of control. They overgrow very quickly and microbes grow very fast. They produce trillions of babies per hour. So very quickly, you have imbalance, disharmony. And as a result, the microbes that used to be perfectly good for you as part of a balanced community become pathogenic. Any microbe has an ability to cause disease if it is out of balance with everything else. The trouble is today, people are getting antibiotics not only from the doctor. They are eating antibiotics for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and in between because supermarkets are stocked by industrial agriculture and everything you buy in the supermarket is full of antibiotic-like chemicals because majority of agricultural chemicals are antibiotics in their nature. One of the most um, widely used today is called glyphosate. There's a wonderful book written about it. There's a lot of information about glyphosate. It is a broad spectrum antibiotic, extremely damaging to every microbial community in nature. So majority, if probably 100% of the Western population in particular, and any other industrialized country in the world, have gaps, from my point of view. They have abnormal microbial community living in their bodies. This microbial community in your gut is the most important part of you. It is the majority of the cells in your body. And then when you eat food, they feast on that food, they convert it into, uh, they take a huge part in digesting that food appropriately. And if that microbial community is abnormal and turned pathogenic, turned rogue, they turn your food into millions of poisonous chemicals for you. At the same time, they damage the integrity of your gut wall, making it porous and leaky. Holes develop in your gut wall, literally. Your gut wall becomes like a sieve. So all these poisonous chemicals absorb into your bloodstream, into your lymph, get distributed around the body. But wherever they get to, they cause disease. If they get into your brain, they will cause mental illness. And if it happens in a small child, they will cause a learning disability. Autism, ADHD, attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity, dyslexia, dyspraxia, oppositional defiant disorder, and a whole list of other, other problems. If it happens in an adult, the adult will develop a mental illness. We have an absolute epidemic of mental illness in the Western world. And every, every year it's getting worse and worse. All of those people are gaps. The, the real cause of the disorder is gaps. Abnormal microbial community in your body, damaged, leaky, porous uh, gut wall. And uh, um, food is poisoning you as a result. 
If these toxins get into any other organ in the body, into your lungs, into your heart, into your skin, joints, other organs, they will cause physical diseases. And this I've described in the book, Gotten Physiology Syndrome. It's a large blue book, which is the latest that came out in 2020. It's quite thick. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that one explains where does autoimmunity come from? Every autoimmune disease is GAPS. Multiple sclerosis, lupus, Hashimoto, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, you know, any, any chronic, uh, any allergy, all allergies are GAPS. Asthma, eczema, hay fever, atrial fibrillation is GAPS. Every form of arthritis, any skin disease, psoriasis, eczema, chronic cystitis, nephropathy, neurological illnesses, hormonal abnormalities. We live in a world now with increasing hormonal abnormalities in people, particularly younger people. And, and that is shaking now the whole world. There are lots of young people with abnormal hormonal balance in their bodies. They are gaps, these people. This is gaps. So that is what gaps is. If you ask any microbiologist, what is the most powerful influence on the microbial community in nature? The answer immediately will be food. Food. 